Okay, so I am bound and determined to try and figure this drone out and one of these features. So I thought I'd give it a quick try here. Had a few minutes. So this feature, it circles one set point. So here I go trying some bass fishing. Oh, look at that. My first hit, he rips the rubber thing off of the uh, hook, the swim bait. So there was me like, yeah, come on, what's going on? So anyways, slowly I come out of center here. So I don't know if that's the wind. Oh, there's a nice one. And that one got off too. So anyways, this kind of bass fishing ain't what you're going to see where people got a nice new shirt on with their sponsor names and their the sponsor commercials and all that fancy stuff. This is just me in my backyard. You could see I'm soaked in sweat because we just finished moving the beds from the mobile home back to the house. Oh yeah, can I land one? Nice. There's the first bass on drone video. So I'm actually pleased with the drone stuff. Yesterday I wasted literally wasted like four hours on firmware and software i'm going to tell you this thing is not easy like they claim it to be there's a nice hookup right there um, i had to do the firmware like three or four different times you know wait on hold forever on the phone and blah 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 but i'm starting to slowly figure it out yeah see i think that's the gps is drifting a little bit there Nice, not anything big yet. Of course, the, the big one is at the end where the hook comes off of the line. I think I'd been wearing it, you know, by fishing so much with the same line. I should have retied, and of course I didn't. So the last one I'll hook on here is a nice one. And of course that's when uh, the line either breaks. It's that braided line too. It's like 20, 30 pound test. That's probably what happens, but anyways, let me give you a little peace and quiet for a minute here. All right, so then I thought, well, I'll take it for a quick ride over the pond. Now I'm braver to fly it over the water, and I'm getting a little better at it. So I thought, oh, let me show you guys the pond a little more and some of the bass habitat, all these trees that I laid down in here last year. Kind of get a closer look to see what the pond looks like. So I wanted to focus in on that one down tree right there. I thought, well, let's go see what's in here. So usually there's turtles sitting on there, although the drone is a little bit loud and it scares things. So I'm slowly positioning myself. Oh, there, I think that was a turtle right there that I just missed jumping off. La da da, all of a sudden here, I hear something that sounds like somebody weed whacking over here. And from where I'm standing, where I was fishing, I, I couldn't see it. It looked like I was plenty clear from the trees. Oh, there we go. Weed whack action. Wish I had the audio from the other end, which I did not because my phone was dead. So then I had a hard time figuring out how to get out of the tree. 
So I ended up going down, and then I went the wrong way, and I hit it yet again. Thank goodness it's a good drone, because it just, it actually, like, trimmed the tree branches and then fell about a foot and caught itself and hovered. So that's, I'm glad I bought a good one. So now back to the ride here. And I thought, all right, I'm gonna go across here. I'm gonna shoot right through that gap of trees. These two right here, there's plenty of room. But then I got to thinking, well, okay, you just put it in a tree. How I'll be a little smarter, so I went a little bit, a little bit higher, so I can get over the trees. And I was just gonna do a quick spin around around the ponds and things for practice in case you want to see it and then right around here somewhere it started beeping caution battery low so started bringing it back for home trying to figure out which direction is home because it's kind of hard to see the other issue is that it's there's a severe lag when you hit the joysticks and nothing happens for about a second or two that's why it's kind of herky-jerky or part of the reason because of that severe lag and then when you got the thing beeping caution caution low battery caution you know, you're kind of in a hurry to get it from over the water so that's why I was kind of herky-jerky it and then of course I thought well I better not go in this tree thank goodness I survived the first one so then I'm going to just turn it around so the camera's facing me and tuck it in for a nice landing. And right here, when I get to the landing, there was a root sticking out of the ground about a foot. And of course, it was like right in the center of this uh, berm pad right there. You could see another root there behind me. It was just like that one. So I had to scooch and move for that. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll keep learning this drone. I'll keep bringing some country adventures. I got lots of projects that I want to put on drone video or at least add them to my other ones. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.